Okay, Surf City, time to check out some of the events you might have missed. The events that help shape our culture and our community in Huntington Beach. Surf City Highlights. It's getting hotter in Huntington Beach as the story continues to unfold on the proposed ban on wood-burning fire pits along OC and LA beaches by the South Coast Air Quality Management District. Since the Save Our Pits rally was organized, more people along the water's edge have learned of the possible fate of the iconic fire rings. That's the end of the night. It's the ritual. Yeah. The fire pit, bonfire, s'mores. It's bad enough dogs. when they cut it down to 10 o'clock from 12. You know, that was bad enough. And now they want to take the pits out. I don't think very many people would come. It's my would, birthday. It's your 21st <laughs> birthday. If there wouldn't have been a fire pit, we would be somewhere else right now. The charge against the AQMD is simply overreach. Having originally been influenced by a minority of Newport Beach residents, whose home's proximity to smoke generated from the rings is obvious. As on the same coin, Huntington Beach should be on the, on the team of Newport. We're all in this together. It's our whole district, South Coast District against the South Coast Air Quality Management District. Well, minority or not, the Newport Beach City Council has decided what they think's best for their own community. But that shouldn't result in all communities in Orange and LA counties losing the ability to have wood fires on the beach. Jim Silva, a former 12-year AQMD board member, knows there's a difference. Air Quality Management District has done a very good job in addressing the mobile source, such as cars, or the stationary source, such as factories and, and, um, and businesses. But when you have the fire rings located in Huntington Beach, that is not really an AQMD issue. And now where does it stop? Does it continue on to regional parks, Boy Scout camps, Girl Scout camps? Maybe your backyard with your barbecue. The AQMD is way out of bounds on this. They need to take a step back. Let this be, let us make our own decisions. Let it be a local issue. It's not just about bonfires. It's about overreach in general. And the fact that the public was so dismissed, the levels of arrogance that have been shown by the AQMD in this case have really set the stage for what, what is going to be, I think, an epic battle. This is true right and wrong. Right or wrong, the AQMD's one-size-fits-all doesn't make sense to the public. AQMD is just, they're just it's, it's, it's a power trip. They're just going too far. You know, I mean, you're going to ruin a lot of family time. The tale of two cities is so vastly different in their priorities. The risk of losing Surf City visitors, as an example, will cost. Well, just parking alone will be over a million dollars to the city of Huntington Beach, and then the surrounding businesses would be well over another million. And then on top of that, that, is, that doesn't even include the state park. And the state park said that they would lose half of their RV parking revenue if these beach bonfires were taken away. And then we're talking about the impact on our local businesses. When you figure that 15 million visitors a year, now not everybody you know, comes to the beach, not everybody stays at the beach, but a significant number of those folks enjoy the ambience that the beach provides, including the beach firings. The AQMD has only recently begun collecting so-called pollutant samples via a mobile unit, steps from the pits, but lacks data. Absolutely no health concerns. You know, the wind is always blowing. Uh, it disperses all the smoke. I think it should be up to local control. And if that's what Newport Beach wants, they do have homes that are directly on the beach. So it's a different condition. Ours is totally different. If Corona Del Mar don't want them, let Corona Del Mar get rid of them. But why does that have to affect all the other beaches? The priority HB takes for having a pristine beach provides guests with needed, necessary value. I'm going to Disneyland tomorrow. I'm about to spend like 500 bucks. Oh my God. And I spent what? 15 today on parking, so it works. Say you spend 100 bucks on food and drinks and have a good time. and With your family. With your family and your friends. That's all it's all about. Spend a couple of bucks to you know, buy the stuff for s'mores and, you know, you can, the whole family Same can come and enjoy time. it. <laughs> Everybody can't afford Disneyland. I mean, where else can you spend 15 bucks? You have the ocean right here, you got an open pit barbecue, you know, it's, it's fantastic, yeah. That's the family values. My kids, we come out here quite often. Matter of fact, this is their little sixth grade graduation party and she has a lot of her sixth grade friends here. And that's what we're doing today. The support for Save Our Pits includes cities, County Board of Supervisors, and now the State Assembly of California with their own resolution. 
and perhaps another rally soon. Oh, I think they're definitely in retreat, and we're going to make sure they retreat all the way back to, uh, to where they came from in Diamond Bar. This is our beach, and we're going to keep it. But one can always sign the petition. For Surf City Highlights, this is Matt Liffring.